Today we will look at the vertical power of VPX as it is implemented in the Grand Rapids HX, the Advanced Flight Systems EFIS, the MGL Voyager, the Garmin G3X, and the Dynon Skyview system. This is the VPX on the Grand Rapids HX display. If you have an alarm while flying, it will show up on the main screen here. So here you can see it says VPX. We'll go ahead and down here under message, we'll press the message button. And it says the boost pump has a short circuit. So we'll go ahead and acknowledge that message. And then you can just press the engine display. And that will bring up the vertical power uh, page. Here you can see the battery voltage, the primary alternator, and how much current everything is drawing. Right here, 0.7 amps. Obviously, it'd be higher in a real system uh, in an aircraft. Here you can see all the electrical devices, and next to it, it's green or white to show that it's on or off. And then the boost pump right here is red. What we'll do is go ahead and press these keys down here, select the device, and it selects the device automatically. And then to reset that fault, we can just press the reset button right here. Now you notice that resets the fault and it's back to showing it green again. You can see the trim and flaps are displayed on the screen and those come directly from the VPX. This is the Garmin G3X. When there is a fault it appears on the primary flight display. You can then go over to the multifunction display and select the VPX page. The VPX page is in red because that means there's a fault on that page. And on the page you can see the electrical system diagram. Here it shows the current on the VPX page, the battery voltage, and the alternator status. You can now go ahead and select uh, the device list and it automatically selects the faulted device. And then from the bottom of the screen you can press the reset button and that will reset the fault. If you want to turn a device on or off manually from the screen, just select the device and then press the on or off button at the bottom of the screen and you can see the status of the device change on the screen. Here is the advanced flight systems display. To see the electrical system page, simply press the first page of the checklist and you'll get a split screen display with the electrical system status. You can scroll to different devices to turn devices on or off manually from the screen. Down here we'll go ahead turn the device on and off using the knobs and then go ahead and press the return button to go ahead and get back to the main screen. If we have a fault you can see it down here where the normal faults are displayed. In this case there's a fault on the taxi light. So what we'll do is go ahead and acknowledge that fault, go ahead and bring up the first page of the checklist and now we can see a list of all the electrical devices. Here it shows the devices and it shows a green dot next to it for on, a white dot for off, a red for faulted. So you can see the taxi light is faulted because it has a red dot next to it. And up here it tells you what type of fault. It says that there's a current fault which means that the taxi light is burned out because it's not drawing any current. So we'll go ahead down here to the, the keys, press the reset button. If you want to reset the fault you simply press that button, hit return, and now we can see the full page again. This is the VPX implemented on the Dynon Skyview. Press the engine button, then press the VPX button, and the VPX page will appear. Here you can see the electrical system diagram showing that the main alternator is on, the current draw, and now you can use a rotary knob to scroll through your list of electrical devices and select the faulted device. Then go ahead and press the reset button to reset that circuit breaker. To turn a device on or off manually, simply scroll to that device then press the on or off buttons. This is the vertical power VPX on the MGL Odyssey screen. It's a standard screen here. On the bottom left you can see the uh, electronic circuit breaker status of each of the different devices. And if we fly along and we have a fault, the fault comes up on the main screen just like any other fault would. And here it says electronic circuit breaker, 10 amp, six circuit nav light has a fault. So what we'll do is over here you can see the F keys. Now F4 uh, is the ECB so we'll press that and now it brings up a list of all the electronic circuit breaker uh, circuits and it selects automatically the one that's faulted. So you can see the nav light has a current fault. So we'll go ahead and press 1 here on the keypad and that will reset the fault. 
You can also see there is a split screen. And so on the right hand side of the screen it shows each of the individual devices. And uh, it says uh, the name of the device, if it's on or off, how much current it's drawing. And you can see right away where there's a fault. So right here it shows an Avalite uh, has a fault.